All y'all getting mad at the Bucks yesterday for them signing Julio Jones because y'all wanted Julio Jones. Be quiet. Everybody that's been talking about the Jarvis Landry's, the Odell Beckham Jr.'s trading for a DK Metcalf or a Debo Samuel, shut it down because it's a wrap now. Ravens have signed a new wide receiver, Bailey Gaither. Let's go, BG. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, the Ravens made the move that so many people have been talking about for a very long time. And they signed a free agent wide receiver, Bailey Gaither. Now, he was undrafted in 2021. And this is straight from BaltimoreRavens.com. He was undrafted in 2021 after catching 135 passes for 2,227 yards and 18 touchdowns during his collegiate career at San Jose State. He is 6 feet, 188 pounds, and he was in Packers training camp last year and will join the Baltimore Ravens competition at wide receiver. So, hey, welcome to the squad, my friend. Welcome to the squad, BG, Mr. Bailey Gaither. You are officially a Baltimore Raven. Now, on a serious note, um, this, of course, is, is, is going to be a temporary move. Um, it's going to just be something for training camp right now. Uh, because whenever you make a move, uh, especially with the 90-man rosters right now, whenever you make a move, there's also a corresponding move that happens as well. And the corresponding move is that the Ravens placed uh, Ben Cleveland on the NFI list. So the non-football uh, injury-related list. And it's like, well, non-football injury list, excuse me. Um, well, did he... Did he get injured from being married or something? Cause I know he, the, the Ravens would just put the picture of him getting married, and now all of a sudden he on non football. You got to be careful, my friend, Cleveland. You you, you got to be careful. Anyway, um, this is don't know the severity of the injury. Don't know how serious it is or not. Don't, don't know. Um, and it's early, so there's no reason to panic, but. There's a, a reason for a little small concern, just a tiny bit, only because we don't know the severity of the injury. So it could be a super minor thing where it's like, well, okay, that ain't no big deal. Or it could be something that's more long term and it's like, oh, okay, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, so we just, we, we don't know yet. But I would have a little bit of concern because he's, he, that's how he started last year too. He had missed a lot of time. He was hurt for a lot of the time. So I just, I would be a little bit concerned about that. But again, hopefully it's nothing serious. Hopefully it's nothing long term. And hopefully it's just something like super, super simple. And then in a couple of days from now, whatever, maybe a week, we'll see. Then it'll be, it'll be over with. So we'll see what happens with that. Now... Um, something else uh, before we get out of here uh, that I didn't realize, because, of course, we heard all the um, all the stuff about David Ajabo. We heard that already. So and, and of course, about the holdout and whatnot. He hasn't reported to training camp. He doesn't have a contract. Yeah. But something that I, I really didn't realize. And Adam Schefter pointed it out today. I think Jamison Hensley pointed it out yesterday, too. But I hadn't realized it. It really just hit me this morning. But it makes sense when you really think about it. Uh, is that, and Adam Schefter said this. He said, with training camps now open across the league, former Michigan linebacker and Ravens second round pick David Ajabo remains the lone unsigned uh, drafted rookie. So out of every single draft pick that got, I mean, every single person that was drafted, every single rookie that was drafted, he's the only one that has not been signed yet. I said, it shouldn't be hard to get done. And that's what I was saying yesterday. It ain't nothing to worry about. It's no big deal, especially when you think about the situation. He is not like he can, and you still want to get the, the, the deal done, of course, but it ain't like he can do anything right now anyway. He, he's dealing with the Achilles injury. He ain't going to be playing in September. He ain't going to be playing in October. 
November might be pushing it. December might be pushing it. This year might even be pushing it. We'll see because, you know, these doctors in the NFL, they, they got, they can do some crazy stuff. Um, but he's not contributing anytime soon. So not that there is no rush, but it doesn't present like this big, oh, man, oh, we're going to be missing David Ajabo. Um, but they'll, they'll get it worked out. But anyway, back to the report. It said it shouldn't be hard to get done, but the two sides haven't been, well, the two sides have been unable to agree on Ajabo's third year guarantee percentage. So, you know what's funny? That, that's what we were talking about in the video yesterday when we talked about this. That it's it, it probably going to be over guarantees. Because David Ajabo, he wants money guaranteed. And like, ah, and I, I'm pretty sure the injury has a lot to do with it. He probably wants, and it's just me assuming that. I'm not saying this is fact, but I would think that the injury situation is, has provided a lot of issues. Well, obviously, because he ain't saying yet. But I would think that um, with him being hurt, that's presented a different type of challenge uh, for him, for his side and his camp, his agents and all that, versus the Ravens. They may want to do A, and he may be like, ah, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do A, I want to do B. Uh, they may want to pull back a little bit on the guaranteed money, and he may be like, you know what, no, I, I want that. I don't care if I'm injured. This is where I was drafted at. You chose to draft me here, and I want all that guaranteed money. You're going to give it to me. Hey, you know what? You don't want to give it to me? We'll wait. We'll wait. Ain't like I'm in a rush anyway. I, I, I can wait. I can be patient until y'all get it figured out. So, hey, we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Uh, shout out to anybody. Today's the first day. It's Wednesday. Today is the first day. Full team training camp. Shout out to anybody that's going to be going there later on. I know... Um, Later on, Harbaugh and I think somebody else is going to be speaking to the media. I don't remember who, but anybody that's going to be going out there today, enjoy yourselves. Please drink a lot of water and Gatorade and all that good stuff. Please stay hydrated because it's very important because it's hot. It's very hot. I know it's hot, it's hot down here in Florida. It's hot up there in Maryland, too. The Owens Mill is going to be very hot. So please drink a lot of water. Anyway, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and training camp is officially underway today. That's why we've been getting updates on different stuff like crazy now, because the regular season is pretty much started. Football season is here, uh, we at training camp officially today for the Ravens, um, preseason will be here before you know it, and then regular season is just around the corner too. So I love y'all, appreciate y'all. Drink your water.